Well, the sun finally decided to come out. Well, the tractors are backed in the shed. The carts are hooked up, loaded, waiting on a semi. The reason we're filling the carts up is because it's a lot faster. We can get the truck out of here a lot sooner if we load the carts up ourselves and then load the truck with the carts as opposed to loading out of the bin. Because it takes right about an hour to load corn out of that failing grain bin over there. So uh, by the time the truck gets back, we fill the carts up, we can actually get him back out the driveway in 10, 15 minutes. So we move a lot more corn that way. Well, I jumped into the 76 earlier and we had a bit of an issue. Uh, the seat was all the way down and I couldn't raise it back up. So I pulled the raise lower seat switch out of the seat. It's in the armrest. And simply enough, a wire broke off the back of the switch. So when I was, well, because all the back plate, the back cover for it, and everything was was on it but uh, what happened is is that I took off this piece and all of the guts and the internal pieces scattered across the bench and behind the bench and in, on the dirt in the dirt and went to Never Never Land so $40 later I have a new switch coming tomorrow but that's not it Everyone that's been cleaning, complaining about the fact that my seat squeaks and the 76 is so annoying when I do my talking in it. Rest assured, the seat is coming out. One of my blower motors, I'm a, well, I haven't really torn it apart yet to find out if it's the blower motors or not, but it's happened to me three years ago and the birds are really starting to get irritating. It happened to me three or four years ago where I only have one speed setting on the blower motors for the cab. So I have a new blower coming in tomorrow. So maybe in a day or two here, hopefully we can get this corn moved out. It's not the last of the corn, but uh, we'll definitely, we're definitely getting down there. Um, what I'm going to end up doing, because it'll be so handy and convenient, I'm going to hit the all the inner workings of that seat all the connectors and the suspension pieces hit it with that gel wd-40 it's like a well it is it's like a gel and i'll go through and hit everything on the underside of that seat and if that doesn't alleviate the problem i guess we're just gonna have to deal with it and the thing is with using wd-40 is that it's probably gonna eventually start squeaking again anyway but i want to get the air working back in that tractor we would be cutting hay right now. The goal was to cut hay yesterday, but the problem is we got a lot of rain. It rained all day, <laughs> literally all day. It never did stop. But they are saying it's supposed to be dry for four or five days, but by the time it dries out enough where we can get out in the field and cut hay and not tear up the fields, uh, they're saying rain again in four days. So if we can get done moving grain, we can get the hang equipment out, go through the hang equipment. We have to go through and clean up and put away some of the tillage equipment, like the 630. But we do have some waterways and some other areas I want to go through and get seated down. And I see my right hand man is keeping me company. So it's tedious jobs. We had to tear a motor off of one of the grain bins because it got, well, the motor has been on the that bin in particular ever since it was brand new and that bin has been around longer than my dad has been around so the motor finally kind of got wore out so this is going to be going on the bin next we got it all wired up dad went through and put it back on the, the stand or the mount for the bin so we can get to that too so yeah never a dull moment around here you guys just don't see it on youtube and with that i gotta go home and try to mow that hay field that i call a yard so until tomorrow take care take it easy keep in touch i'll talk to you tomorrow